Hi, welcome to NPA Teaching. Today I am going to introduce the randomized control trial as an experimental research design. If you have a standard research questions like Does availability of microcredit alleviate poverty? Are policies of financial inclusion, for example, Jandan Yojana, is effective in helping the poor in terms of saving and investment? Did Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act raise wages by providing an alternative source of employment for rural labors in India? Is the availability of midday meal or better health and sanitation that can improve the educational attainment of children from poor families in rural areas? While answering these type of questions, we have to establish relations between cause and effect. In such a cases, we can go for using randomized control trial RCT model as a research design for the study. Therefore, this model is progressively accepted as a tool for policy intervention. RCT is a research design that is generally used in experimental research in testing the effectiveness of one or more intervention. It is an experiment that is designed to isolate the influence that a certain intervention on outcome. It is a prospective comparative experiment performed under controlled condition with random allocation of interventions to comparison group. Therefore, RCT is the most rigorous and robust research method of determining whether a cause and effect relationship exist between an intervention and outcome. It is regarded as one of the most valued research methodologies for examining the efficiency or effectiveness of an intervention. RCT model became an important research design in the discipline of economics, especially after awarding 2019 Nobel Prize in Economics to Esther Duflo, Abhijit Banerjee and Michael Kramer for their work by adopting the method of randomized control trial in the field of development economics. Banerjee and Duflo together with their colleagues studied the impact of access to microfinance on creation and profitability of small businesses as well as various measures of standard of living. There are several steps have to be followed to perform an RCT model, all of which need to be considered while developing this model. Starting with a group of population or group of people, then randomly divide them into two groups from a homogeneous population. That is, one is treatment group and another one is control group. This treatment or experimental group receiving an intervention which is in the form of medicine, grant, loans, or job training, or any other policy intervention, etc., that is being tested. And the second group, that is comparison group or control group, receiving either a different inter intervention or no intervention at all. These two groups are then followed up over the period of time or until a finite date or occurrence of the one or more outcome of interest to see if there are any differences in the outcome between these two groups and then compare the outcome of treatment group with that of control group. If the differences between these two groups are statistically significant, then we can say that the changes in the outcome is attributed to the treatment. For example, here we are going to consider a population who are looking for job. Then we starting with this population then randomly divide them into a control group and a treatment group, perform some intervention on the treatment group, say some special job training or vocational training is given, then see how the outcome differs. Let us say 70% of the treatment group find job after getting the intervention in the form of job training as compared to 40% of the control group. If these two groups were perfectly randomized and if nobody drop out to the from the study, then we can assume the differences in the results are not due to the differences between the groups because there should be 
more or less identical in terms of age, gender, income, education and so on. Since the job intervention, job training intervention is the only factor which led to the differences between the groups that are statistically significant. We conclude that job training intervention caused the 30 percentage point improvement in the job outcome. Let me conclude that the randomized controlled trials are the experimental research studies where an intervention is applied to one group and the other group that means control group does not get any type of intervention. Then the intervention being tested on two or more study groups that are followed prospectively outcome of interest are recorded and comparison are made between the intervention and control groups. While this method has been widely used in the medical fields, especially in clinical research in early periods, and nowadays this method has been applied to number of fields such as economics, education, etc. RCTs are the well and good and can provide a strong evidence of a causal effect, but they are usually expensive and time consuming to run. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.